Can you get around the red route on a gravel bike and still have a good time? I reckon we can. We're out today at Sherwood Pines Mountain Bike Trail Centre, but I'm on my Vita Substance gravel bike. It has no suspension, you're lent right over the front um, and it should be super fast as well. Let's get into it. Let's talk about the bike. We have a standard seat post. This is a prime seat post. It's alley, so it's got a little bit of flex, but it doesn't drop. There's no dropper on this. Um, there is a bit of flex in the saddle, which is a Physique Antares uh, 3D printed saddle. The bars are Aero carbon bars from Prime. The Aura Aero with a big flare. So you can actually get a really nice grip. I, I really like this. Wheels. We have Creative Carbon Gravel 40 wheels. Um, which are 40 mil deep. They are carbon fiber. The bike is also a carbon frame. Carbon fork, carbon frame, Vetus substance. Really, really comfortable, but the great thing is that it's very lightweight. So you can throw the bike around. If you see a route, I am able to sort of throw it out of the way. These are the Hutchinson Tuareg tires, which I absolutely love. These are 700C, 40 mil wide, with quite a fine tread. They're very fast rolling tires that are designed to go long distances on fine, not fine gravel, but not gnarly mountain bike trails. Saying that though, with this group set, this is the SRAM Apex group set, massive dinner plate of a cassette on the back. So you've got so much range, almost as much as what you would have with a mountain bike. But yeah, that is a bike, it's a weapon. What do you reckon? It's pretty cool. Right. Moment of truth time. Let's see how we get on. Ah! Way! Woo! Oh, this isn't too bad. Whoa! Oh, it's definitely more fun. Oh, over the roots. Yee it's definitely good fun. I'm enjoying each section more than I did on the escarp. And that is purely because I'm hanging on for dear life. The great thing as well about riding gravel bikes around the trail centres, mountain bike trail centres, is that when you hit fire roads like this, you can drop your mates. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to introduce you to my mate, Zach. Hello. So Zach and I, um, good mates from the band days. I used to be in a band. <laughs> Zach hasn't been riding, well, I don't know if you've been riding very long, have you? No, not really, no, no. A couple of weeks, maybe. Really? Have yeah. you ridden before though? Have you like? Odd dirt jumps here and there when I was a kid. That's yeah. about it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a uh, new venture, a bit of an investment on a, on a nice bike, a raggly. Yes. You know, someone that's uh, had the run-ins with mental health over the last couple of years, I think it's really important to get out and uh, just be around nature, be in the trees and, uh, go really fast and I feel like it gives me the same rush as skateboarding did when I was younger but oh, I'm really? in my 30s and I can get away with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. you picked up mountain boarding right? I love mountain boarding but I have, have kids so and it's a very specific way you can ride it so getting a bike means that I can go on bike rides with my kids and yeah and spend some more time it doesn't all have to be downhill you know. Exactly you can have a little off. shotgun little baby on the front. Yeah yeah. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> That's interesting, isn't it? Do we reckon I could get over that? Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit sketch. I mean, this was the bit, this was the bit that I was a bit like, not worried about, but I was like, if there's one bit around here that's gonna be hard, it's this, because it's quite rocky. But yeah, I think this is, this is doable, because it's just rollable. So just come around the bend. This, this one's relatively easy, because I'll just go off this side if I don't pedal strike like that. And then I'll just, I'll have them level. I can take it down this section, stick to the right, come through that bit there, and just off there, hang off the back. It's doable, man. Yeah, I'll just give it a go, shall I? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all gonna be on camera anyway. That's all that matters, isn't it? Yeah. Just make sure I don't run you over when I come down. You like that Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park. And I'll run you over when I come back down anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna hang right. Come over that one. Whoa. Yeah, it's definitely. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, I think I smacked the GoPro on the bars. But it's doable. Can't want that bad. I could probably ride up back up the other side, look. 
Go this way. Yes. Don't get too cocky, Luke. This is where you have problems if you get cocky. Then we'll go over this side. This side's worse than what I thought, and this side's not as bad as I thought. Go off that one. Whoa. Oh, actually right off the middle of it. I honestly thought that would be, like, I'd, I'd need a lot of g and up to go and do that. I mean, maybe if you, you know, if you come off that side, like, that is quite substantial on a gravel bike. You'd, you'd need to, like, jump off it. But that's fine. So, all good, all good. Next. Definitely more challenging. You've got to be on your awake, which is what you want when you go riding mountain bikes. Do you want to feel that adrenaline rush? And I definitely am aware of a lot more. A bit like a big root there. Oh, I feel alive on this. I feel fast. Even though I'm maybe not going that fast, it feels fast. I feel like I'm sending it. Big sends. Oh, yes. I love it. Really, really like this. These are my Fox racing shorts. They were Fox. 40 pounds. Just so everybody knows I'm a mountain biker yeah. now. <laughs> are they actually Fox? Yeah, they are, yeah. Are they? Yeah. They look like Chino shorts. They are. They're Chino. Fox Chino shorts. Fox a million. They're technical now. I think they were Fox Essex 2.0 in, in dirt. <laughs> Colour dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Bit more riding to do, but first, we're going to head back, get a quick drink, maybe have a little snack before we get out and ride again without the cameras because the battery's about to die. It's been great fun, but yeah, time for some coffee. I was half expecting it to be like unrideable in places. Mm. I, I mean, I'm used to riding a gravel bike, but... What, what would you say that you found really difficult on it? You can't, you can't just push over like some stuff, like that rock drop. Yeah. On, on the mountain bike, you can just, you just go, boom. You can, be, you can be through it before you even thought about it, whereas there's a lot more thinking like little rocks and if you see little you know like little knobbly bits of roots and stuff mm. in the trail you you have to sort of like properly think about them it's a completely different body position that i think that's a big thing yeah um but mate it's fun you yeah. feel like you're going faster i know you are on certain bits but even when you're going the same speed you feel like you're going so much faster you feel that connection to the or lack yeah. of connection to the ground <laughs> when you're like bouncing over stuff but i do think that this bike will be even better with 650B wheels, wider tires, a dropper post in there. So I think we come back and we do it again with that other setup and we see what it's like compared to this. Your question was, can you have a fun day on a gravel bike at a mountain bike trail center? And yeah. you've done that. So I, I think the answer is yes. I'm just a stubby little short man <laughs> that likes to ride bikes. I'm an average to okay cyclist and I had a laugh. So you can have great fun at a moderately difficult. Moderate send. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Sherwood, is, like I say, Sherwood is quite an easy trail center um, as many mountain bikers know, but it is made more fun on a gravel bike. But yeah, we definitely answered the question, mate. And yeah. thank you for joining me and tagging along. It's been, been a pleasure. Drag dragging me along in certain points <laughs> and filming me. It, it'd be good to have you back in some more videos. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I've loved every riding. minute of it. It's been great fun. Yeah. But I, I don't think you'd catch me on a gravel bike at a trail centre just yet. Um, As in I wouldn't catch up with you, I wouldn't catch you on one. <laughs> you wouldn't catch me on one, yeah. Um, we'll get you on it eventually. Yeah. We'll get you on gravel. Yeah. If you want to see Zach on gravel, let us know down in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video, <laughs> smash the like button, subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you can see every time I upload. And until the next time, take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Peace. I'm just a stubby little short man <laughs> that likes to ride bikes.